Welcome, welcome to the Rick Elf's Real Estate Show update about what's going on in the Arizona real estate market. And I'm obviously not in Arizona. <laughs> Still up in the Northwest here, taking it easy, leaving soon. Going to be back, but what are we doing? What are we seeing right now? Well, it's still painfully slow, uh, but it's interesting that the price losses that we saw from January of 2022, um, actually from March around 2022, have almost been erased. We're almost almost there because inventory is so low. There's still enough buyers out there that where prices were creeping back up, and that's where we're at. Now, transaction volume is dismal, my friends. It's terrible. We're still down well over 40% which means you're seeing fewer real estate agents working, title companies, lenders. It's dead out there, but it's still brisk enough to where we only have a 1.6 month supply of homes. The other thing that we're facing that we're starting to feel a pinch on is interest rates have really hammered affordability. So if you're a first time home buyer, uh, you already know this, you probably can't even get into a house, not anywhere close. You're kind of ticked off about it, I would be. And you're saying, well, how long do I have to wait? Well, all depends on whether or not we have a recession and what the recession is going to look like and if there's even going to be a recession. Now, I'm reminded that Ronald Reagan once said a recession is when your neighbor loses their job. A depression is when you lose yours. But you won't even know if you're in a recession for six months because it takes two quarters of contracted GDP to say, yep, we had a recession. So then six months from now, you can look at the rearview mirror and go, yeah, that was pretty bad. That takes another six months, a little longer, to recover from that recession. So it's a big guessing game. A lot of people are going to tell you it's really bad. Some people are going to tell you I have a soft landing, and you're sitting there as a first-time home buyer going, well, that's great. That doesn't help me at all. You know what you know, and you know that it's kind of unaffordable right now. So what are your choices? Well, save your money and get rid of your debt. Take this time to get rid of the debt, whether you buy a house or not. If you think we're gonna be headed towards a recession and you're still working, get rid of your debt. Get in a position to where if things do get bad, you're fine. Pay off the credit cards. If you got a big car payment, see if you can unload that thing and bank as much money as you possibly can. Because when things really fell off the wagon in 2008, those that did that came in and were doing pretty well. Now I hear a lot of people saying, well, I'm gonna wait till prices come down and I'm gonna jump in. If prices come down, be prepared. A lot of people are going to jump in. And we didn't see that in 2008. We didn't hear people saying, well, if crashes go down, I'm getting in. They were just saying, I'll never buy a home again. I'm out. A lot of people foreclosed and they couldn't afford to buy anything else because they couldn't get any financing. So the people, the investors that had the money saw what the opportunity was and came in, scooped up homes. They had to repair them because they were all torn to shreds. And they put them up as rentals, and they're hanging on to them to this day. 2012 was when this market really took off, and we've been growing ever since. So those that had the money took advantage of that. Now, if you're nearing retirement, and you're sitting on a home, and you're thinking, well, when's a good time to sell? I have to honestly say, we know what we know, but we don't know what we don't know. I'd say now. You have the equity. You know your whole home is going to move. You know you're probably going to be selling pretty soon anyway. Don't try to figure out the exact month because things can change in a heartbeat. Even though interest rates are sitting as of this filming at 7.19, there's still buyers out there. And there's still buyers that have cash and homes are moving. So if that's part of your life plan to sell your home to help with your retirement, you know, at least to downsize, um, I wouldn't wait for a certain month. I would just say, yeah, looks good now pull the trigger. Now, a year from now, could prices be higher and you're kicking yourself? Probably, but I'd rather kick myself because I didn't get as much equity as I thought than looking out a year from now and going, oh man, I didn't see that coming. Once I had a father-in-law that traded commodities and he goes, you don't want the top, you don't want the bottom, you want that sweet chunk out of the middle and you'll make money. So that would be my advice for people that are thinking about selling their close to retirement age. Now remember, nobody's got a crystal ball in all of this. Now, the Mortgage Bankers Association is still saying we're going to see interest rates down to 5.9% by the end of the year. And as much as I don't like to make predictions, I don't see that happening. I just don't see anything on the horizon that says the rates are going to go from 7.19 to 5.9 between September and November. 
don't plan on that. It's not going to happen. If it does, boy, that's going to be a heck of a headline. There's going to be some really bad news out there where the central bank had to come in and loosen things up. And there's a uh, big, big shakeup in the bond market. So as a betting man, I wouldn't hang my hat on it. How much higher are rates going to get? They may not. They may stay here and kind of hover. Or as uh, my friend Pat likes to say, muddle along for a while. So that's where the market is in Phoenix right now, and I hope that helps. For first-time home buyers, you have any questions on buying and selling homes, just shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com. Take care.